Hey man, can you grab me a flashlight? I got you man, what's up? What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. The auto shop life. So, as you guys can see, got another flashlight. They light up my world, what can I say? <laughs> but, uh, got one off the truck today. Just want you guys to check it out. Snap-on's going wireless with the lights. Had to grab one, check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so getting ready to it, had to grab one off the truck, you know, I love and hate those days, you know, you get on the truck, you know, you already got something either on order or you already owe the tool man, you know, you're trying to pay down that bill and then they hit you with a new tool. I mean, what are you going to do? And you guys know me, I, I'm a sucker for lights, I think I got 29 or 30 and counting, but uh, I grabbed this new one, guy got it on the Kickstarter, probably at the show or whatever, he's one of the, one of the first ones I've seen, I don't know if you guys have seen it or whatever, you're, tool guy's got it but this one's a tongue twister as far as the part number goes ECFLPRA350 and it's pretty much wireless charging base it comes with two flashlights it's pretty pricey but I mean from snap-on really what isn't pricey these days you know especially uh, the th things I've been having to deal with as far as the sockets and everything else but uh, wireless charging capability these things are IP65 ra rated completely waterproof they do not have a charging port on it. It comes with obviously the fancy magnets, you know, the, the charging pad, a wire, the output for it. But here's the box. You guys can see. We're gonna dive down. I'll show you guys the setup. I pretty much already got this thing out of the box. You guys know I couldn't wait. Had to check these things out. I ran around the shop all day today using them and all that stuff. But definitely pretty cool lights. But let's dive down and check them out. I'll show you guys. <clears throat> all right, guys. So here's my little setup. I brought it down. I actually stuck it to the side of the box because the side of this workstation is steel so <clears throat> it's got magnets on each light you can obviously see you know it's plugged in now it's got the green LED let you know it's charging I want to say when these weren't charged they flashed and then fully charged they go on solid green um, but here's the first light I want to say this one's 500 lumens and like I said completely waterproof um, I don't know how they uh, gauge that. I think the IP65 means completely waterproof, but it's got the same magnet on the bottom. Reminds me of the E-carb light. This one's a little beat up now, but pretty much the same magnet. Ties bottom. This one does articulate, you know, all the way out. Obviously, you could use it as a handheld flashlight or, you know, with the magnetized, you could angle it kind of where you're working at, you know, put it on the wall and kind of angle it where you need it. This thing is super bright. It does have the dim settings. You hold it, dims down, rods, robins, flashes, and then goes completely bright again. But uh, really nice light. It's got the rubberized, you know, feel to it, just like the e-carb light, just like most of the flashlights they have here. You know, I really dig that rubberized texture to it. You know, it gives that grip in the hand. You got a little oil on the hand or whatever. This thing's not going to slip out because it is kind of, you know, awkward. It's not a cylinder, you know, a tubular light or whatever to hold it. You can even hold it like that or whatever. Guys with smaller hands or like that or even hook it, you know, hook it on a rack or something like that. If something's not magnetized, you know, hook it on something plastic or whatever so that it will hang too. Um, I want to say maybe that's the separate part number for it there. ECPR C150 and then you can see the little lightning bolts is for the charger this thing is magnetized to the base so you ain't got to worry about lining it up on the base you pretty much you know where it sticks on the base is where it's gonna charge you just drop it on the base it's gonna it's gonna put itself exactly where it needs to be you know it won't charge unless it sticks so that's pretty cool and then the other flashlight is more you know a cylinder shaped flashlight same thing waterproof this thing's got the lightning bolts on here too to match up with lightning bolts on the charging pad. Here's the separate part number for this one. ECFLD030, serial number probably at the bottom there. Here's the on off. This one is the 300 lumens. Um, no adjustment, but it does have, you know, dim feature up and down, but you can't telescopic, you know, to beam in the light or make it a spotlight or floodlight or whatever. But definitely nice. This one I'm wondering at this point I'm wondering if this turns red when it's dead like most of the other snap-on lights I guess we'll have to see but this one also sticks too it's got a magnet on that one also so pretty nice and then you can see the little LED diode inside there but definitely nice definitely bright you get them as the set they come both as a set 
And then the wireless charging base here, take these things off, this thing definitely sticks. It's got magnets on both sides for the back. It's also got two mounting screws, so if you want to mount it to wood or whatnot, let me get this thing unplugged real quick. You can see you got a USB out, so as you have this thing plugged in, your charging flashlights, you could also put you know, another one, charge another light, or charge your phone. This thing does work on phones. You set the phone down there correctly. I had my phone on here charging. It charged slow, but it was charging, so it's pretty much the same coil, charging coils that they use for cell phones. But uh, definitely pretty nice. It's got the little soft padding where the magnet is so it doesn't scratch the box. If you mount this to the back of the box, you ain't got to worry about zip tying it or what I had to do with my stinger lights to get them mounted on the back workstation here. Here's a part number for this one, uh, ECFLPRA0. So maybe if this thing goes bad, you got to switch it out. You might be able to get these uh, parts separately. I'm not sure how Snap-on's going to offer them, but definitely dig it. You know, this thing sticks really, really well to steel. Obviously, this is not a stainless steel top. I got the rhino on top, so this thing is metal. But I mean, if it didn't have this, this little underfinger thing here, I mean, it's definitely got some pull power there. I'd call that maybe 20 pounds magnet pounds on there of pull power but uh you got your usb-c in it does come with a charger this one's actually not just a charger wire but it actually comes you know with the, the power transformer and all that stuff this thing is five amps um at, so the output is five volts um at 3.5 amps so a pretty nice charger obviously you could probably charge a phone with this thing too um i'd have to plug my phone in to see this is probably a fast, faster charger than the one I have at home. But plug in my cell phone here. Yeah, and I mean it charges. So it's pretty cool. And then also I'll show you guys here, get this base plugged in. I did not notice any lights on the base here. So pretty much, you know, plugging it in, assume there's power. And then go ahead and set the phone down. Like I said, you set this in a certain way, it will turn on and charge, but it doesn't have the magnetic bottom to it so there it goes you can see start to charge there wireless charger detected so you could charge two phones on this thing when you're not using it to charge your flashlights thought that was pretty cool but definitely dig it can't wait to uh use these things up like the rest of my flashlights got the snap-on badging in the back and then pretty much what i did is i mounted to the side of the box here let me adjust this camera got it right here Stick it to the side there, tuck in the wires, and then I got wireless charging pad right on the side of the box, ready to go at any time, always on charge. new wireless charging lighting you know I don't know why they didn't come out with this sooner I mean these lights obviously got you know pretty much every feature that I like I haven't really found too many cons on this thing and you know the versatility on it is you know endless you know that's half the battle you know the reason why I have so many flashlights is half the time between not being able to find it the ones you do find you know they're pretty much dead because you forget to charge it all the wires that i have to set up to charge the lights you know because i don't like charging one light at at a time the different c type usb type you know mini usb the all the other chargers out there that they got wireless charging pad they should make all flashlights like this have one pad charges it all you can charge your phone on it you know if you get it set on there right but uh yeah if you guys haven't seen them ask your snap-on dealer these things are definitely cool with a price tag to match i want to say they're over 200, 2, 212, something like that, 210. I can't remember exactly what I paid, but uh, you know, he only had one or two left on the truck, so I had to snatch it up, show you guys, get these things out there, and uh, you know, my new favorite flashlights now. You know, and you get two for the price of one, so really, you know, your flashlights, you're getting them 100 bucks a piece. You know, you can't beat that. So, but that's that. Wrap this one up. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Check you in the next one. Signing out.